This week, the Barefoot Boat Bums celebrate Lucy's birthday. We welcome her family on board. We meet the crew of Ruffian and we find some free infinity pools. We're heading back to the boat after uploading another video for you guys. Lucy's driving. We're just heading ashore with Ruffian, whose British boat is next to us, and we are going to have a barbecue on the beach. Nice evening. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up there, Jake. Rewind. Exactly who is Ruffian? Ruffian are another young cruising couple who our friend Ben put us in contact with. Meet <laughs> Kieran and Hannah. We have been in contact with them since we left Audienne in France, but only recently met them in Muros. Thanks for putting us in contact with them, Ben. I'm sure we'll be seeing much more of them over the coming weeks, as we all have the same plan to head south. I come ashore because we've, we're just about to have a barbecue with Ruffy, and they're just coming ashore now. Beautiful evening. It's been quite gusty and windy all day, but it's um, winds dropped down a bit, so we decided to stay for today and tonight, and we're going to leave, go around the corner to Ria Arusa first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning. First thing in the morning. Oh, Lucy. Yeah. It's dripping hills are dripping. Ah oh, no, oh. we lost the snow. Cockadoodle! The next morning, we were up early to start our journey to Ria de Arusa. So after spending about almost two weeks <laughs> in Muros, I think about maybe 10 days, maybe 11 days, yeah. <laughs> we're finally moving around the corner to Ria de Arusa, where we're going to meet my parents in Villa Garcia. Are we, Jake? We are. We just set off. We decided to stay last night and we had a barbecue on the beach. We decided to set off this morning instead and it started off as a beautiful sail. Got the engine running still at the minute just to uh, run the bridges, but as soon as it's, the time is finished, then um, we'll be having a quiet, relaxing sail. What a cracking start to the trip! We're just off around into the next rear today because uh, Lucy's parents are arriving tomorrow. It started off as a beautiful sail. I just thought I'd show you this, we're going on quite nicely at the minute, but um, I hope don't jinx it. But we turned the engine off about 6.5, 6.7 knots ish. That's where we're going. So we're not quite sure how this has happened. <laughs> Obviously, that's not right. Um, Somehow it's managed to get itself sort of tangled and go up. So Jake's having to be inventive and try and think of ways to try and release it. <laughs> so I have a spare rope we have going from that winch. Couldn't use this one because this is in the way. So I went from that winch through this block and then right. tied onto there. To give it enough purchase to... To, to give, give. Take the slack off this by pulling it from there instead. So then we could unravel it. <laughs> and then I end up having to use the only thing I had to hand was a bit of thimble to stop the rope from pushing against that. Just held it. So that, ladies and gents, is how you get out of a, a slight pickle. And also, we're catching up with the catamaran. Yeah. I quite like racing catamarans. <laughs> yeah, he's just up there. You can see him. As we entered Ria de Arusa, we saw loads of mussel farms, more than we've ever seen before. These rafts, that are used for cultivating mussels and oysters in Galicia, are called bateas, and they dominate the Ria de Arusa. We are just leaving the anchorage outside Villa Garcia to go into the marina, where we're going to pick up Lucy's folks. So far, everyone's been fine, but driving rag, like helming rag time, is like driving a bus. Big heavy boat. Happy birthday, Lucy! Thank you! Happy 
Happy birthday, Lucy. Thank you. Just going out for dinner. We've got Lucy's parents joining us. Happy birthday, Lulu. Happy birthday. <laughs> uh, early on, we found a nice restaurant, which we're heading to now. It's been nice. We haven't been out for a while. No. 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 <laughs> We had a fantastic meal in a restaurant called Derby in Villa Garcia. If you're in the area, we highly recommend it. Morning everybody. <clears throat> it's half past eight in the morning. I'm sure you can hear what's going on behind me. Um, seems that there is a discotheque just outside the marina. <laughs> and it's been going probably since midnight, maybe just before midnight. Surprisingly, it didn't didn't keep me awake. I don't know if it kept anybody else awake. Mm, Jake's still asleep, I don't know where mum and dad are, but um, it's, st <laughs> it's still going at half past eight in the morning and it's like full whack. You've got people like cheering and they're, they're, in a, they're having a proper mad one. <laughs> So my my advice to everyone, if you're coming to Via Garcia, don't stay in the marina overnight on a Saturday night, and don't know if it's purely a Saturday night thing, <laughs> purely a Saturday night thing, or if it's an every night thing. Because we did hear we stayed in the Anchorage last night, just round the corner, at the night before last, sorry, and we could hear some music, and I don't know if it was just because we had the wall and the whole marina separating separating us from the discotheque. Me and mum are just uh, are just heading out, we're having a bit of a walk. The boys, Jake and dad, are doing uh, fitting a new water pump in the engine. And I'm also, I'm wearing my new trainers. The trainers I got for my birthday. They're awesome. These awesome trainers are called World Secrets. They're a luxury clothing brand designed in Britain. Check them out on Instagram and online. Mum and I had a nice walk around Villa Garcia and did some window shopping and eventually we found the Convento de Vista Alegre, which is still a convent today. Nice Sunday morning with my daughter. Watching the promenaders. All light is so just 73% of capacity. What are you doing? We are testing all the batteries. We know that we've got at least one duff battery which kind of dragging the rest of them down in a minute. Dad's Come helping, on. aren't you, Dad? Hmm? Dad's helping. Well, Dad's, I think, driving this whole thing, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dad. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Coffee ground and coconut oil scrub. <laughs> Sale, guys? Yeah. Okay. All good. How fast are we going? 6.8 knots. Oh, there you go. Moving along. I have no, yeah. Sale. We're going to go around this island. Dink. And then back up. We were going to head straight to Pobre do Carimignal, but we were having such a nice sail that we decided to extend it and sail round a little island in the middle of the rear. And I've just done some roasted garlic and oregano as a topping. And we'll have that tonight with our spag bowl. All while sailing. You two having a nice sail? Back in sail. Back in sail. <laughs> Look at these two. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. We drop the hook in Pobra de Caramignan. The next day, we took a walk up into the hills to the natural pools on recommendation from Hazel and David. So we're walking down this path that we've been told by a board is the right way to go. And we've just walked like, what, 40 minutes I reckon from where we left the dinghy ashore? So we're just hoping that we can actually find our way <laughs> up this path. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just walked up quite a lot, quite a long way, in ripping hot conditions, and then we find this. We highly recommend this walk up through the hills and woods. The reward at the end is seven natural pools with cool water and a magnificent view. Or for the daredevils amongst you, you could try this. We've literally just got back from the natural pools up the hill and Jake and I reckon we walk about, walked about maybe eight kilometers today, which is pretty good going. We just sat down in a cafe and we just ordered some drinks and hopefully they're debrief. coming soon. Debrief. We're having a debrief. What did we think? Awesome. Really good day out. Quite a long walk, but it was nice stretching legs. Cracking away to spend an afternoon. Absolutely fab. Loved it. Good. You do need to take water and food and proper shoes. Mum's yeah. like the same colour as her shirt. <laughs> yeah, beautiful day out. Um, but take some water and uh, maybe a bit of food. Don't forget sunscreen. And a hat. But it was a lovely day out, well worth it. But it's cracking. Yeah. So we're all very tired, we're all waiting for our beers. View from the top, across the rear, is absolutely cracking. Very fresh. For that reason. Good job.